Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to lecture number 37. Uh, we have derived the Jacobi integral. Now, we will be looking into the Lagrange point. What this is exactly? If, uh, if you, uh, I am so, I have shown here the x s, y s and z s. So, this is the synodic frame, synodic frame as we have defined earlier. Now, in this frame, if the observer is sitting at say B, this frame origin is located at B, which is nothing but the center of mass of the mass m 1 and m 2. So, if any observer is located at B and he is rotating along with the synodic frame, the synodic frame is rotating at the rate omega. And let us assume that uh, the x y plane is the plane in which the m 1 and m 2 is lying. So, it is possible that if any mass is located somewhere which is I have shown here by m whose coordinate is x y z. So, this mass may appear stationary to the observer at point B in the synodic frame. So, mass m may appear to be at rest to an observer in synodic reference frame. And if this situation occurs, we say that the mass m is in equilibrium mass m is in equilibrium condition in the synodic frame. So, under what condition this can happen or say what is the location of the point m or the location of this elementary mass m in the synodic frame. Synodic frame is our x s, y s and z s. So, in this frame where it should be located such that the mass m appears to be at rest to an observer sitting in the synodic frame. So, he is also rotating observer is also rotating along with the synodic frame. this is what it implies. So, this is the thing I am going to explore here. Now, if I say equilibrium, say the equilibrium has a very uh, general definition we, have, we can write equilibrium as the we, it is the stationary 
stationary state of a system. This is its general definition and if your system is written like this f x y z or here I will remove this this part and let us write this as x tilde dot equal to f x tilde. So, written here in this format and th there may be u tilde also this is called the input uh, in the controls this is called input and this is the state x tilde is the n into 1 vector this is called the state vector. So, for a autonomous system, for an autonomous system, which is defined in this format, the equilibrium will be defined by x tilde dot equal to 0. So, that means, we will have here uh, f x tilde equal to 0 and this we need to solve to get x tilde equilibrium. So, this is the equilibrium state. So, this is how we solve for the equilibrium point. For an example, if you have a spring mass system, this is a linear system, uh, we assume a stiffness to be k, this is mass m. So, we know that its equation of motion can be for a small displacement it can be written as and u is the force applied to this. So, we can write it like in this fashion and if we write x equal to x 1 x dot equal to x 1 dot equal to x 2 and x 2 dot then from this place what we observed that and x 1 double dot this will be equal to or here x double dot equal to x 1 double dot this will be equal to x 2 dot. So, from this place we can write this as m times x 2 dot plus k times x 1 this equal to u and along with this we have another equation x 1 dot equal to x 2 while we have written in this format. So, this is the state space from this place we can get the x 2 dot this will be minus k y m x 1 here we will have x 1 x 2 k minus k y m x 1 and this quantity will be 0 here and in this place this will be 0 and this part will be 1, yeah. 1 by uh, if we divide the whole, uh, whole thing by m. So, this will be 1 by m. And this equation we are writing as x 2 dot equal to minus k by m x 1 and plus u by So, only minus k by m x 1 x 2 part is 0 there and then we get u by m in this one we have only x 1 equal to x 1 dot equal to x 2. So, we are getting from this place using this and this x 1 dot equal to x 2. So, this is the this is a linear uh, second order differential equation and it can be reduced here in this format and if you see I can write this as x dot equal to f x tilde plus g u tilde here in this case u is a single uh, input case this is a only one dimensional input. So, maybe you can write here u tilde or you can remove it is not a problem. So, what we observed that
if u tilde this equal to 0. So, where the equilibrium point will lie? So, that we have to solve using no external input. So, in that case we you do not have any external input means the time dependent time dependent we do not give time dependent if you have done the controls course. So, you may be aware of all these things we are not putting time dependent. So, for if we take u as the state feedback ok. So, in that uh, ok we can skip all those things because many people may not be aware of all these things. So, it is better to skip uh, this issue. So, only thing that I wanted to point out that in the condition u dot uh, u tilde is this equal to 0, so x tilde equal to f x and this we need to solve and immediately we can see that x 1 equal to 0 and x 2 equal to 0 this is the equilibrium state. So, this is for the Uh, the, the, this is a situation for uh, the case where we have uh, linear system. If the non-linear system is there, then in that case you get your equation here in this format, where this is a non-linear function, and therefore solving this, it may be little troublesome, uh, varying from case to case. So, this way we get the equilibrium point. So, with this what we Okay, coming back to this place, then we can see that using the notation what we have developed earlier. So, uh, using that we can reduce it in the format where it appears as x tilde. So, instead of doing this you just note that x double dot equal to y double dot this z double dot equal to 0 and x dot y dot equal to z dot equal to 0 this will define its equilibrium point equilibrium. So, in the equilibrium state no acceleration in the synodic frame, no velocity in the synodic frame means the point is not moving at all, it is not accelerating, it, it is not having any acceleration and no velocity also. And therefore, it will appear a stationary to an observer in the synodic frame and then we can solve this equation. So, the first equation then gets reduced to minus omega square x this equal to minus mu 1 by r 1 q by r 2 q the second equation gets reduced to omega square y And uh, in the third term, we do not have uh, this omega square term. Okay. So, the left hand side simply we write this as 0 okay, minus mu 1 by r 1 q z minus mu 2 by r 2 q z. This is equation number 6. So, from equation 6 we can see that it can be 
rewritten as and the quantity here in the bracket this is non zero quantity because r 1 and r 2 they are non zero and this implies therefore, j equal to 0. So, simply if the first thing that we get from here is uh, the Lagrange Lagrange points are situated in the x y plane. Okay, so uh, that means here what we have shown this z this quantity z will be equal to 0 the whole thing is going to lie uh, I will show it by a red color whole thing will lie in this plane okay, lying in the x x s y s plane this com component this is going to be equal to 0 for Lagrange points. So, this is the first simplification we have got. Now, the situation gets reduced into a form this is m 1 here and this is m 2. So, all your points will be and where is x and y x we have taken here in this direction this is x s direction and this direction we have taken as y s direction. So, all your points are going to lie in this plane and our job is to find out all those points. So, all together there are 5 Lagrange points and they are named as L 1, L 2, L 3, these are collinear lie in the they are in the same they are along the same line okay. they are collinear and L 4 L 5 are along the y direction means if, uh, both x and y coordinates will be available for this lie if we write this as the a b. So, we can write in a better way lie along or of the line a b. So, our search is for all these three point five points L 1, L 2, L 3, L 4 and L 5 these are the 5 equilibrium points, but our job does not end here. The issue related to this will be whether all these points are stable or not, because if you want to locate any say for a satellite over that point okay, will it stay there this will be the big question and this we also need to answer and uh, that is called the uh, stability of the Lagrange points and stability how do we measure it. So, if this is the say the Lagrange point L 1 okay, and if a satellite is lying over this I will make it little larger and then I will show the satellite with a blue dot okay. and if this satellite is disturbed from this place to this place. So, can it return back again to the red point this is the Langrange point which I am going to work out later on. Okay. So, this issue we will be dealing in this topic. These points are also called vibrational points.
and also if you look into the uh, calculus the uh, or the you say the uh, differential geometry from there you will see that uh, these are the double points you look into the for this definition double points what these are so our conclusion right now is vibrational points points or the lagrange points fall in the orbital plane of the primary and secondary masses primary mass m1 and secondary mass m2 or masses or body now the from equation 5 from this equation minus y equal to omega square y minus omega square y this equal to minus mu 1 by r 1 q plus mu 2 by r 2 q y on both sides we have minus sign. So, that makes it plus we can remove it. assuming y is not equal to 0 assuming y is not equal to 0. So, in that case mu 1 by r 1 q plus mu 2 by r 2 q this gets reduced to 1. But uh, assuming y equal to not equal to 0 and omega equal to 1 on normalized scale, so normalized scale solving it is a little easier uh, as compared to the non normalized scale, and moreover, mu 1 we have written as on the normalized scale as 1 minus mu star. this is equation number 7. Now, this we can utilize to uh, utilize in the equation number 5. So, equation 5 we have omega square x so, omega equal to we will put 1. So, this is minus x equal to rest other things we have to copy from this place. And so remember on the normalized scale we have this representation mu 1 mu 2 already we have discussed. So, we have replaced correspondingly with uh, all those quantities mu 1 by r 1 q x minus 
x b 1 mu 2 by r 2 q x plus x b 2 cancelling the sign and rearranging the terms what we observed that this is mu 1 by r 1 q plus mu 2 by r 2 q x. So, we can make this uh, whole thing in the next step. Uh, I will make it here uh, let us say I write here in this place this is x equal to mu 1 by r 1 q x v 1 Okay, and then rearranging the terms. So, you get terms like this and the next one we will have mu 2 by r 2 q times x b 2 minus mu 1 by r 1 q x b 1. and then inserting it here in this place and this is equ your equation 8 inserting equation 7 into 8 yields. So, th this term will cancel out these two term in that case because this is equal to 1 this quantity equal to 1 therefore, this term and this term they, they will drop out and we are left with mu 2 by r 2 q x b 2 equal to mu 1 by r 1 q x b 1. We rewrite this on the next page. mu 1 by r 1 q x b 1 x b 1 equal to mu 2 by r 2 q x b 2. And mu 1 on the normalized scale on the normalized scale mu 1 is 1 minus mu star and then we will have r 1 q and x b 1 is how much x b 1 is see here this quantity we have written as mu star and this is so this is m 2 and m 1 was here and this is 1 minus mu star and b is here. Uh, this distance which is your x b 1 in magnitude wise. So, this quantity is mu star and the quantity from here to here this is x b 2 this will be equal to 1 minus mu star. So, x b 1 is mu star similarly on the right hand side mu 2 is mu star divided by r 2 q and x b 2 is 1 minus mu star. So, immediately what we observe that 1 by r 1 q equal to 1 by r 2 q and this implies r 1 equal to r 2. So, immediately what we observe that if we have points here the primary and the secondary bodies m 1 and m 2. So, two of the vibrational points or the Langrange points are going to lie this will be r 1 and this will be r 2 where r 1 equal to r 2. This is the immediate result what we get and somewhere here your Barry center is located and this you have we are writing as 1 minus mu star this on the normalized scale and this as 
mu star this distance as 1 minus mu star and this distance as mu star. But still our job is not over here, we need to work out further because uh, on the normalized scale what will be the value of the R 1 and R 2 that we have to get. Okay. Also we need to find out let us say this is uh, um, point 0.1 and this is point 0.2. So, if, uh, or either we write as A and B. Okay. So, if we write it like this, so R A B what is the relation between all this? This also we need to derive. Moreover, what we observe that we will have this R 1 equal to R 2 will be satisfied for another point which is lying here just up on the other side of this. Then also this will be R 1 and R 2. Here there is your mass m, this is mass m. So, either mass m can be here or it can also be here and then it will appear to be stationary to an observer which is sitting on at the point B in the synodic frame which is rotating. So, in the next class when uh, we are going to work out the other relations. So, we stop here. Thank you very much.